Hey guys, for Dodgers Nation TV, I'm Elisa Hernandez here with your Dodgers highlights brought to you by our sponsor, CollectSuperProducts.com. The LA Dodgers are beginning their six-game homestand versus the Atlanta Braves for three games before the Colorado Rockies come to town. And a little birdie told me that Julio Urias is slated to get the starting spot on Tuesday, so hopefully he will finally make his Dodger Stadium debut. Well, in other news, Yasiel Puig was sent to the 15-day DL list with a sore hamstring. Scott Van Slyke was activated off that list, and he actually saw some action tonight. So let's get you to the highlights. Kenta Maeda got the start for the Dodgers on the mound, and the Atlanta Braves had his numbers. They actually went up 1-0 going to the bottom of the first, and Chase Utley started things off in the leadoff spot with a strikeout. But things got a little out of hand in the top of the second. Malik Smith for the Braves brings in a run, and the Braves go up 2-0. But things get better in the top of the third. Kenta Maeda with his first strikeout, and he got things going here with another strikeout. So we go to the bottom of the fourth, and Corey Seager steps onto the stage, and what does he do? Well, he hits his 10th home run of the season. Bottom of the fifth we go. Trace Thompson wanted to join the home run party, so he hits his ninth home run of the year. Keeping things moving right along. We're actually gonna see that one again. And if you're wondering why we didn't show Seegers, you will in a minute. Going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Corey Seeger is up to bat once again, so what does he do? Well, of course, what he does best, he hits his 11th home run of the year. And top of the seven for the Dodgers. Now that they have the lead three to two, thanks to Corey Seager, Kenta Maeda's day is done. But Corey Seager's day was not done. Bottom of the eighth, what does he do? He hits his 12th home run of the year. And the Dodgers go on to win 4-2 over the Braves. Well, the Dodgers kick off the series versus the Braves with a much-needed win, and Corey Seager became the first Dodger rookie since 1959 to have three home runs in a single game. And remember, you guys can actually vote Trace Thompson and Corey Seager into the All-Star game. Just go to dodgers.com slash vote. You can vote up to 35 times. we got to get our young guys in there, guys, so make sure that you guys get him to the game in San Diego. And he actually has a meet-and-greet scheduled sometime this weekend, so make sure you visit dodgersnation.com for that story and if you're watching this on YouTube the link is in the description below so the Dodgers win tomorrow is Kershaw day and that wraps it up for our Dodgers highlights brought to you by collectsuperproducts.com you can follow them on Twitter at collectsuper us at Dodgers Nation and me at E Hernandez TV thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe hit like comment below let us know what you think and for all these stories and much more you know what to do visit dodgersnation.com